How much is a teaspoon? Among the many pleasures of cookery are the words it uses to describe amounts. Words like scattering, splash, serving, soup, pinch, drizzle, dribble, bite, drop, bowl, dash, crumb, drop, kiss, kiss, sip, hint, dribble, trickle, bunch, shake, handful, handful hint, sprinkle, helping, twist, and my favourite, dollop. dollop. These descriptions aren't exact and probably don't need to be, but when it does matter, measures are used such as grams and millilitres. These are units that are internationally agreed upon by measurement scientists. Then there are units that aren't as agreed upon, like cups, tablespoons and teaspoons. And that is where the fun starts. You see, teaspoons are different sizes in different countries. The metric teaspoon, the one we should all be using, is exactly five millilitres. But the UK prefers the imperial teaspoon, which holds about 20% more. The USA officially use the metric teaspoon, but also have the customary teaspoon, which is about 1% smaller. Canadian teaspoons are 4.74 millilitres or 5.92 millilitres, depending on who you ask. So what? In cooking, small variations probably don't matter although small variations are important when spoons are used to measure medicine. A UK National Health Service statement once complained that teaspoons could be anything between 2.5 and 7.3 millilitres, the biggest being about three times the smallest. Ensuring we get the intended amount or dose of medicine can be the difference between a treatment working or not. At NPL, Iliana and her team check the dose rate of radiation used to treat cancer. The idea is exactly the same as checking medicine doses. When treating cancer, a correct dose of radiation improves a patient's ability to recover. Your challenge is to investigate variation in teaspoon capacity. You will need some differently shaped teaspoons, some water, a measuring jug and a calculator. We want you to tell us how many spoonfuls make up 200 millilitres. Try not to spill anything or lose count. Empty a teaspoon of water into an empty measuring jug. Count one. Don't worry if the water level is a little bit higher than a level teaspoon due to surface tension. With the same teaspoon, add another teaspoon of water into the measuring jug. Count two. Keep adding more teaspoons of water, counting them, until the water in the measuring jug is up to the 200 millilitre mark. Calculate your spoon's capacity by dividing 200 millilitres by the number of spoonfuls you counted. Here, 200 millilitres divided by this number gives this capacity. Empty the measuring jug and repeat the experiment for other spoons. Share your results with us. We'd like to know how many teaspoonfuls you counted and the final answer of your calculated teaspoon capacity in millilitres. So what? Taking medicine with any spoon you find in your kitchen drawer could mean you take more or less than the recommended dose. This is why many medicine bottles now come with their own plastic spoon or syringe to measure the correct amount. Stop.